Good morning and welcome to Beginning the Day with God on Wednesday the 5th of July. We opened with a piece of music entitled Circle Me Lord by Keith Duke. So we come to our prayers. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our reading continues our journey through the book of the prophet Nehemiah, Today, chapter 6, verses 1 to 9. Now when it was reported to Sanballat and Tobiah and to Geshem the Arab and to the rest of our enemies that I had built the wall and that there was no gap left in it, though up to that time I had not set up the doors in the gates, Sanballat and Geshem sent to me, saying, Come, and let us meet together in one of the villages in the plain of Ono. But they intended to do me harm. So I sent messengers to them, saying, I am doing a great work, and I cannot come down. Why should the work stop while I leave it to come down to you? They sent to me four times in this way, and I answered them in the same manner. In the same way, Sanballat, for the fifth time, sent his servant to me with an open letter in his hand. In it was written, It is reported among the nations, and Geshem also says it, that you and the Jews intend to rebel. That is why you are building the wall, and according to this report, you wish to become their king. You have also set up prophets to proclaim in Jerusalem concerning you, there is a king in Judah. And now it will be reported to the king according to these words. So come therefore and let us confer together. Then I sent to him saying, no such things as you say have been done. You are inventing them out of your own mind. For they all wanted to frighten us, thinking, Their hands will drop from the work, and it will not be done. But now, O oh God, strengthen my hands. Thanks be to God. We come now to this morning's reflection. There is a growing air of menace and intimidation in today's passage, as Nehemiah's opponents resort to exaggeration, rumour and lies to present his actions in the worst possible light. Their intention is to stir up opposition to him, to create conditions in which he will not be able to bring his project to completion. But we can sense that they are also seeking internally to undermine his confidence, to cause him to doubt or abandon his sense of his own credibility. However, his enemies have underestimated their man. Whatever weaknesses Nehemiah may have, self-doubt is not one of them. He first exposes the conspiracy theories being woven around him and then stakes out his own course with renewed confidence. The gift he particularly takes into his own hands here is that of courage, so often associated in the Hebrew scriptures with a firm adherence to the cause of God. In our age of social media, the ability to generate conspiracy theories, 
to blacken the reputation of individuals has increased immeasurably compared to the days of Sanballat and Geshem. Sometimes people do this out of malice, sometimes out of ignorance, sometimes because of the shrill intensity of their own narrowly held agendas. Whatever the motive, a social media pylon can be an intimidating experience, and the mere threat of it can deter people from pursuing a course that they know to be right. At such times we should pray for Nehemiah's courageous integrity, for all in public life, as for ourselves. Amen. We come now to our prayers for others. We pray this morning following the Anglican cycle of prayer for the clergy and the people of the Deanery of Ospringe in our diocese. And looking further afield, we are asked to remember to our Christian brothers and sisters of the Diocese of Yumu Ahaya of the Church of Nigeria. We pray for them, for the Deanery of Ospringe churches, that they may be empowered and strengthened by the Spirit of God. And following our own calendar of prayer here in this group, we think today of the congregation of St Mary the Virgin Rolvenden and we pray for Tim Cole, the church warden. Pray following this morning's reading that we may remain strong in our faith and hold fast to that which is right. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We join together in the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. This is another day, O Lord, and I know not what it will bring forth, but make me ready for whatever it may be. If I am to stand up, help me to stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I am to lie low, help me to do it gallantly. May I know you are always with me. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Let us go in peace and serve the Lord. Let us seek peace and pursue it. Glory be to God who made us, and to Christ who saved us, and to the Holy Spirit who keeps us in faith, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Amen.